Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. This is basic Sorgonomics for May 20th, 2015, and today we're going to talk about social media. Kind of a consistent thing here on the show, theme-wise. Uh, before I get into that, uh, please check out over at Sorgatron.com. I have posted the slides as well as the audio of my uh, presentation yesterday on the basics of Snapchat, Instagram, and Pinterest. Great conversation we had down there at the Carnegie Library uh, main branch in Oakland here in Pittsburgh. Uh, there's, there's dinosaur bones in the same building that I'm talking about the internet. How awesome is that? Uh, but you can check that out if you're interested uh, as well. And, and thank you everybody for coming out. It's a really cool class. I think it was it was uh, we had for registrations at least it was it was about full, a really good attendance and everything. And we're going to be talking about YouTube next Tuesday. So if you're in the area, go look up uh, Carnegie Library uh, for the details on that class, or check out uh, last uh, Friday's Creators Newsletter. I have information on there as well. So with that, um, I wanted to talk again. Social media story kind of popped up. And I wanted to get a little in depth with it. Uh, Google, according to The Verge, is now including tweets in mobile search results. Mobile search results, huh? Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, when I'm talking social media, uh, we're, uh, you know, when I'm talking blogging, when I'm talking people resigning their websites, I'm kind of of the mindset, and I know this isn't uh, purely accurate as a statement, but uh, you know, I think the best SEO is creating content, is blogging, putting relevant information on your website. When and and you get into Google, everybody wants. To, how do I get my thing onto Google? I want to. Basically, everybody wants to pay money to get to, on the top. And if you want to do that, okay, get into ads. You know, don't don't get an SEO. I I think. You know, not an SEO person, person, but as much as I know about it, that's my take on it, right? Uh, and, and and my idea is to, to do content. Now, if you're doing, you know, if you're active on there, if you're active on Facebook, that are that, that's ways for people to find you and find you as the expert in that topic. A lot of people find me because a wrestling mayhem show as an expert on wrestling. A lot of people find me uh, because of this podcast and the post I put on my blog in relation to this podcast. Because and and hopefully are are putting me as an expert on certain topics like social media and video production and uh, and 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 that's how you get out there you know that's how people find you and uh, I I think you know if you're using Twitter if you're using it effectively if you're talking about uh, a very you know specific topics uh, I I think something like this that Google has finally integrated something like this into their searches means all that stuff you're doing on Twitter now helps you get found in Google. Now, we have some other kind of similar things going on with, say, Facebook has a connection with Bing. I think I think they still show up. Uh, you get Facebook results and your Bing results. And, and so that's happening there. It's another... And it, but again, if you, you do have a strategy as a, as a social media person uh, uh, for whatever your site or whatever it is that you're trying to promote is, you know, you're, you're being hopefully really uh, engaging and putting a lot of stuff out on all of those pro platforms. And... Uh, and, and I think that's really important. Um, going into this a little bit, so what happens? We're talking about the mobile side of things. And uh, they say, if you, actually, if you, you go and uh, Google for, uh, say, NASA Twitter, you'll see a scrolling bar of tweets from the official NASA account on the top. Now, that's a little, that sounds like that's a little specific. That sounds like it's a little, a, a bit of the, uh, 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 I think they call it the social graph, where, uh, you know, you search for somebody and you get a little card from Wikipedia on the side. So maybe that won't happen for your little Twitter. Maybe that won't happen somewhere else but still that they are integrating them in uh, is is really important uh so what does this mean uh, well one be, be more prolific with your twitter you know uh if you're somebody who's kind of promoting yourself as a personal brand i, I you know sorgatron on twitter it for me is uh yeah it is i talk about whatever and comment and, and try to engage with people uh as much as i can but i'm also talking about the things i'm doing right uh, and, and again, it's findable. It's, it's definitely findable. But also, it's another place for you to be able to use those high-level search tools uh, f in Google and 
because if you had to go to search.twitter.com, it doesn't entirely work the same way as Google. We've been using Google for how long? It's most of us use it, and to be able to uh, uh, you know put in those commands and maybe have a little bit a better of a search engine going on there to get to those tweets. You know, that, for instance, you know uh, some examples they're giving in this article uh, for all is searching for Malcolm X and Mad Men. You know, let's let's uh here let me let me let me look at some Game of Thrones uh, tweets. And of course, I'm not getting the the entire theme of this, but uh, being on, a, on not on a mobile browser here, but uh, you do get a lot of stuff. You, know, you get a lot of Twitter accounts actually than the tweets themselves. But still, it's uh, it, it still kind of gives you a bit of an awareness, especially on mobile. I think that's even more important on mobile. Uh, because uh, Twitter is, for the most part, a mobile platform. Most people are on the phones using it. And uh, if I'm out there and I, I, I want to, uh, <laughs> if I want to, if I'm searching, if I'm searching for a restaurant in the south side of Pittsburgh, for instance, and I get a tweet from someplace in the south side of Pittsburgh in my results, that may help. That may skew you in the right direction. So uh, certainly uh, take a look at this. Uh, if you're on the phone, if, if you're in the Google app or you're in, uh, let me see, is this working in? It says search on mobile, so I, I, I presume any browser that you pop in there uh, will will have this function. It's going to detect the mobile browser. And we talked about a few weeks ago here, either here or on a mini awesome cast about how uh, Google kind of switched the search results. And uh, you know, go, go do a Google search for anything on your phone right now if you're able to. If you're not driving, please, please, if you're not driving, um, and, and, and notice how many sites have mobile friendly by them. This is another thing that's kind of helped. And and if you don't have a mobile version of your site, I have some, I, I need better versions. I, I need responsive designs or something like that. If you don't know what responsive designs, that means uh, your website will kind of restructure itself automatically based on the size of the screen. If you want to know if your site is responsive, take the edge of your browser. You know, if it's not full screen or anything, pull that edge in. What happens? Right. Uh, if you're on video, we are looking at the Verge, who I believe is a responsive design. We pull that in, and as we go, things kind of rearrange. You see the picture is kind of resizing as we go. The 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 sidebar of headlines pops in as we get a little bit bigger, and that is a mobile friendly design. And you look, and everything's just been rearranged a little bit. Headlines went somewhere else. And uh, and there you go. Squarespace sites are very notorious for this. That's why I, uh, that's certainly why I recommend Squarespace because you can go in there and and you put in a design and you don't have to do anything else. It's ready for mobile phones. Uh, and and now you know Google you know on top of Twitter is, is kind of pushing that mobile idea and uh, we, we'll help you if you have a mobile friendly site and you're trying to reach people on the road. If you're a business, that's huge. If you're a business with a brick and mortar location, that is huge. Because uh, how many people are going to be looking a place up while they're on the road to find that coffee place, to find that venue, uh, instead of just sitting down at a computer? I think it's something to consider on both sides. So, how are you doing with your Twitter? Is this making you consider maybe a little bit? Uh, I should be a little better about it. You know, it's all about information. It's all about content is king. Is something they told me all the way back in web design school, guys, about oh, 12 years ago. Okay, and that is still true today. It's just we have more places to put it in social media, in visual platforms like Instagram and Snapchat, like I was talking about yesterday. You know, uh, that that's the stuff that Google will find to relay your stuff, and you as the expert. And that's also the stuff that um, it's also the stuff that's going to keep people coming back. So let me know what you think about that. Check out everything else at Sorgatron.com. Sign up for the newsletter. We'll have a write-up here this Friday. I don't know what we're talking about just yet, but we'll see. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in on the Periscope's Meerkats. Uh, you can check it out. We go uh, live sometime between 7 and 9 o'clock. Depends on how the day's going, to be honest, uh, with everything else around here. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.